Hey fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World and today we're here in Kikok in Belize. And today we're going to answer is one of the biggest questions that the internet has about visiting Belize and that is, is Belize safe to visit? And I'll be honest, in our experiences here, whether you've been inland or on the Keys, we have found it pretty safe. And the thing is, when you look at the statistics, it makes it look like Belize is this totally unsafe place, like, oh, I should never go there. But in all honesty, most of the crime is happening in Belize City and certain parts there. And for a tourist, it's not really going to be an issue for you. So if that's going to keep you from coming here, don't let it keep you from coming here. Now, there are some safety things you should think about when you are coming here, and that's what I'm going to talk about now. But in general, I mean, we felt safe enough that we brought our kids here. Our kids are talking about let's come back here and visit again because we've had such a nice time. So obviously, it's not too bad, okay? Now, I will say, though, there's probably two things that are probably going to get you the most when you are here. One, the bugs. Yes, you're going to need to bring your bug spray, okay? And two, the sun. I mean, even if you have your sunblock, remember, we're close to the equator down here, and you're, you're, you're 15s and 30 SPF sunblocks are not going to cut it, okay? I'm using 50, so I'm doing okay here. Missed a spot on my neck, but that sucks, believe me. But yeah, we're using 50 and 70 on our faces. Make sure you reapply often. That's really like your most dangerous thing you're gonna have. And where I've actually seen like a lot of people getting the sunburn the worst isn't at the beaches and stuff like that. It's when they go to the Mayan ruins, like Caracol, and you're gonna go there and walk around. Well, it's all open because you want to see the temples, you want to see all these things, and then they get burned that way. So make sure you're lathering up on your bug spray and your sunblock when you're going to see the ruins as well, okay? Um, some other safety things I would worry about is if you're going to be driving around the country, the roads are very bumpy, very bumpy. So if you're going to be driving, make sure you know, use, the, use your, your two hands when you're going to drive. So do be careful with that. Also, a lot of the roads get closed off for construction and things like that randomly. So have the GPS kind of stuff going to help you out. Not your phone one, but a GPS for your rental car. Because though you'll have 4G pretty much everywhere in the country, it doesn't always work to send the data. Okay, so your calls will work and your texts will work. But your, but your internet kind of stuff and your GPS kind of stuff won't. So have a dedicated GPS device that will track you when you are driving. That's gonna make things a lot easier. Um, another thing you might see is when you go around Belize, you're like, why are people walking around with, with their drinks with them? Well, you can actually walk around with your alcohol here in Belize, so it's not really a big deal. Just no glass bottles. It's gotta be in like a, a can or a, a plastic cup. And the thing is, that kind of gets me thinking about, you know, dangers when you're out late nights. I mean, just like anywhere, okay? You don't just go out late night and drink yourself to you, into oblivion. You do need to be careful with that when you are here in Belize, especially in the bigger cities. So make sure you, you know, moderation or make sure you're always going out with a group at night and stuff like that. And obviously, if it looks like a, a bad part of town or a street you might not want to go down, don't go down it. I mean, it's, it's pretty straightforward with those things. Now, some other things that could be dangerous, especially if you have little kids when you're here, is if you're going to be going into like the jungle part or up to near the Guatemalan border to see some of the, the ruins there, do some of the, uh, the tube cave aid and some of the really cool like outdoor stuff you can do here, because you can do some really cool outdoor stuff, just, just letting you know, snorkeling, all kinds of stuff. But if you're going to be going up there, you want to make sure you're watching out. Now, they'll say, oh, there's jaguars out there. There are jaguars out there. They come out in the evening, so have a heads up for that. But there's not too many of them, so that's not a big deal. But there's their version of a, a, of a raccoon you'll see here. That's one that a lot of kids will go up to go, oh, look how cute it is, and it'll get you, okay? So when you see them, like if you're going to be going to the ruins, they might be wandering through. Make sure you stay away from them. Though they're adorable, and you're like, oh, I want to pet him. No. Do not, okay? Stay away from them. Also, there are a few venom mistakes here, but I mean, we, we our guys we were with are like, yeah, there's like one, but we never see it or anything like that. So you don't have to worry too much about that, but just have a heads up if you're gonna be doing hikes and things like that. Stay with your guy, pay attention with them, those kind of things. <laughs> And the last safety thing I'm going to say is about with the snorkeling and, and the scuba diving. If you're not like really comfortable with the scuba diving, or you're not really comfortable with the snorkeling and stuff like that, when you do sign up for the tours, make sure you let them know so they don't take you to an area that might be unsafe for you or a little bit more advanced than you want to do. I mean, it's usually not an issue. I mean, believe me, they have different levels. Like, oh, only for master divers and stuff like that. But just have a heads up because you're like, oh, I want to go snorkeling. Well, be honest about your swimming abilities and the people that are with you because that can be another safety thing. And some of the uh, some of the tours will always like. Like have snorkeling or, 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 or scuba diving and then you might have some rum afterwards make sure to keep the rum and the drinking after the snorkeling after the scuba diving not before okay because that could be a big problem anyway I hope this helps you feel a bit better coming here to Belize it is a great country the food's been fantastic the weather's been amazing I mean this is the only kind of bad weather day I've had so far um, of course it's when I'm filming just just like always um, but honestly we've really enjoyed it. the people they speak English here so when you're worried about something you can just ask in English if, you, if English is your native language and that's really helpful. Most people speak Spanish too, and you might see some Creole, which is like Spanglish kind of thing. You'll have that. So that kind of helps people feel more calm when they're here. Um, so that is kind of nice. 
anyway, I hope this helps you know a bit more about Belize. If you want to know more before you come, maybe the technical things, what to know before I come to Belize, what is the currency, the language, the, the food, things like that. We have videos on that on our website. You can have some more culture fun, like 10 things that'll shock you when you come to Belize, or maybe you want to have some more serious, like what you don't do when you come to Belize. Check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and we really appreciate your likes and subscriptions. And if you click that notification bell and the subscribe button, you'll actually get our videos in your feed every Wednesday and Saturday because we put out videos those times for like five or six years now. We want to keep doing that to help other travelers like you. And we give a special shout out to all of our patrons on Patreon who make who help make videos like this possible. If you want to find out more, click on patreon.com slash waltersworld to find out more. And I'll say bye from Belize. <laughs>